In this video, I'm going to solve another problem related to the uh, piecewise continuous transformation of random variables. So in this problem, we're given uh, that x is a uniform random variable between 0 and 3. That means that the density is constant between 0 and 3 and takes uh, the value 1 third. And the x is transformed to another random variable y according to this transformation shown here. So uh, the first thing from, from the statement of the problem is we can figure out what the distribution function of x is. So because x is uniform, the distribution function will be a, a linear function. So this is x, this is the big fx of x, 0 and 1. So we know it should be a linear function um, between 0 and 3. So at 3 it should be 1 and increase linearly, and then it stays at one. Right, um, and we can also figure out the equation of this distribution function. This is one third, this is two third, and uh, the equation of this distribution will be uh, fx of x is one third of x, x between zero and three. All right. So now what we're required to do is we need to figure out the distribution function and density function for y, and also we need to plot it. So let's start with the distribution function of y, which is fy of y, and by definition it is the probability of the big y smaller than the small y. And we need to figure this out for every small y. Um, now, so the small y could be um, starting from um, from something below zero to being exactly zero. Uh, it could be here, could be exactly one, or it could be between uh, one and two. So remember this, this uh, point here is three and because the slope is 45, so this point here will be uh, two. So let's start with the, oh, excuse me, this is y. So let's start with um, the, the small y being below zero. So if this small y is below zero, then obviously the, the, the black solid line cannot be below this, so this is just zero. Now when y is exactly zero, that means this line here, then the black solid line is on or below it in, in this region. So let me shade this region. So the x should be in this region. So that means it should be the probability that x is between one and two. And this by definition is fx of two minus fx of one, which is um, because fx of two here is two third and fx of one here is one third, so the difference is just one third. Right. Now when the, the small y is here between one, zero and one, uh, then the black solid line is, is below it in, in this part here, and again, the x should be between uh, one and two. So again, this will be uh, probability that the x is between one and two, which is again one third. Um, now when the, when the bl uh, blue line is here, that means y is exactly one. Um, the black solid line is below it um, in, in all of this region here. So that means the x goes all the way from zero to this point here. So it turns out to be uh, the probability that x is between 0 and 2, So, it, which by definition is fx of 2 minus fx of 0. And we know fx of 0 here is, is just 0. And fx of 2 is 2 third, so it will be 2 third. Um, now the case when uh, y is between one and uh, two. 
So the small y is here and the black solid line is below it in, in all of this region up till this point. But this point is floating. So the x has to be between zero and some, some point which is uh, floating. So let's figure this out. So the equation of this line here is y equals, um, because the slope is 45, that means um, it should be x. And then there has to be y intercept, but at, at x equals to two, it is one. So it should be um, minus one. We can verify this because when x is three, um, three minus one will be two. So basically we, it should be x minus one. So when y is small y, this point here leads to the x here being um, y plus one. So, so in this region, the distribution function will be probability that the x is between zero and uh, less than y plus one, which will be fx of y plus one minus fx of zero. And again, this, this is zero. So it's going to be fx of y plus one. And we know fx of x is one third of x. So this turns out to be one third y plus one. And when the last case is just trivial, when y is bigger than two, uh, the distribution function should be just one. So now we have computed the distribution function for y. The next part is, is to find the density function, which is by definition the derivative of this distribution function. So again, all the cases, uh, when y is exactly zero, when y is between zero and one, when y is exactly one, when y is between one and two. So these are the possibilities. So when y is exactly zero, uh, the distribution function is one third, but just below zero, it was zero. So the difference here is one third. So the differential or derivative will be one third when y is between zero and one, um, the distribution function was constant. Uh, so the derivative of this will be zero. When y is exactly one, um, the distribution function was two third, but just below one, it was one third. So we see that there's a jump of one third, which makes the derivative of one third. When y is between one and two, it was a continuous function, one third y plus one, and its derivative is, is just one over three. So that completes our um, density function. Now the next part is to sketch it. So this is capital Fy of y, and below this we can just plot the density function small fy of y. This is zero, one, two. Right, so at zero, um, so below zero it's zero. And let me also mark these y-axis, two third, one, one third, two third, one. And between zero and one, so at zero it's one third. Between zero and one, it remains one third. At y equals to one, it jumps to two third. And between one and two, it is the linear function, one third y plus one. And if you plot it, it will be a straight line going all the way to one. And after two, it just stays at one. Now the density function is just the derivative of this. And we can see at zero, it's a delta function with a height one third. Between zero and one, the slope here is zero, so it's just zero. At one, there's another jump of one third, so there's another delta function. And between one and two, it's um, a constant slope, one third, so it's a straight line here. And then it's zero everywhere else. 
So that's the end of the solution.